Hello everyone, I'm Boiler and I welcome you to this short tutorial where I will show you how to build a infinite lava generator in Minecraft 1.18. Yeah, lava, pretty useful stuff, I will definitely use a lot of that in my survival builds, but um, to get it is a little bit tedious in survival. You need to go underground or to the nether and you need to haul a lot of uh, buckets with you to get the stuff and it's a lot of travel time involved, very very tedious process, but uh, yeah, there is now a better way because we can now build a lava generator in survival, right? By our base or wherever we want that stuff, so uh, we'll have a look at that, okay? Uh, for that we will use these materials that you see here. We will use a cauldron. We will use one dripstone block from the dripstone cave. Uh, we will use one uh, pointed dripstone also from the dripstone cave. We will use four building blocks. Uh, these need to be something that is non-flammable, so wood will not work because that will come into contact with lava. We will need one lava source block, so obviously in a survival you will have that in a bucket. And you will need one additional building block, it can be the same stuff as that over there, but I uh, chose a different one just to show you that this one is actually superfluous, it's only needed to uh, build uh, the generator, but then it will be discarded afterwards. So let's have a look at that, how you build that. You build down a cauldron, then you build up one block, and you put down the uh, dripstone block, and it needs to be a sp uh, one block above the uh, cauldron, so there needs to be a space of one block between because here you need to put the uh, pointed dripstone facing down into the cauldron. Now here is where the additional building block comes into play, you uh, put, that on, put that on top of here and then you take your four non-flammable building blocks and uh, arrange them around that one block and at the end you get rid of that. So that you have a hole in there. So that is the basic setup. Uh, the cauldron, dripstone, uh, pointed dripstone, dripstone block. And then you have these four building blocks making a hole in the middle. And this is where you put your lava. So you put a lava source block in there and it's finished. That is your lava generator. It will now generate lava. Uh, and the way it does this, as you can see, we now have lava droplets coming out of this. Um, you might expect that this will fill up over time, that is actually not the case. Instead, uh, the game just calculates a percentage chance every time a drop falls down, uh, this has a chance to fill up. So we might actually see that while we are looking at it. But uh, it's, a, well, it's a slow process, so it might take 20 minutes. So this is the average for this to fill up, is 20 real-time minutes. It might take 1 minute, it might take 40 minutes, but on average you will have a full cauldron of lava every 20 minutes. So uh, if you want a lot of lava, you obviously need to build more than one. So let's say you want one block of lava every minute, uh, you will need to build 20 of these. If you want five blocks of lava every minute, you will need to build 100 of these. If you want 10 blocks of lava every minute, you will need to build 200 of these. So you will need quite a few of these if you want to do large lava builds or if you want to uh, generate a lot of uh, obsidian or whatever uh, you will need a lot of these but once they're set up i mean they're uh, yeah you don't need to do anything once they're set up they will just produce lava and uh, yeah you'll get all the lava you need just uh, think about how much you need and scale this uh, accordingly and we will actually do uh, nine more of these so we can actually show you how these fill up so this is one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do the same over here. So just make a row. You can also make a square or whatever is it, is it you like. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can arrange these in whatever manner you want. Just be sure that you can still access all the cauldrons with your uh, bucket. So let's put these under there. And the cauldrons as well, obviously. So, and then let's get up here, let's get rid of that, let's put one over here, and I want to quickly show you something. Now we have a source block of lava here, and we have three blocks of flowing lava, and what this does underneath here is, as you can see, the uh, source block is more or less constantly dropping, while the three flowing blocks are dropping very slowly, as you can see. 
well this one is now dropping very fast but it will uh, it will slow down again as you can see the uh, source block is dropping almost constantly over there and the uh, flowing blocks are dropping much much slower sometimes not at all for a few seconds so these are these are much slower and uh, this will fill up faster i don't know if these will fill up at all uh, because on the wiki page it says it ne needs a source block uh, but still since these are dropping they might fill up as well but they will definitely take a longer time because as you can see now they are have completely stopped dropping they will drop again but just very slowly and the source block is uh, basically constantly dropping over here so uh, what you need to do is you need to really have source blocks over every cauldron flowing lava will not do you will have you will need to have uh, source blocks act actually if you want to get the most out of this and yeah that's uh, how you set this up and now i will wait here to show you uh, well actually i don't need to wait as you can see this has already filled up it's just one drop and then it was full because the game calculated well now this is full and uh, it filled up yeah that's pretty neat um and to scoop it up uh, you'll need a bucket and i will quickly need to change uh, game mode to show you this because in uh, creative you cannot scoop up things but in uh, survival you can so now we have another bucket of lava okay and if the next one fills up we can scoop that up as well so that's how it works that's the lava generator pretty neat stuff um yeah that's all i have to show you for today so uh this is how you generate your own lava for your builds or for whatever you want to need to uh, use it for, for your traps or obsidian generation or whatever. And yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you liked today's uh, tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below. Be back uh, next time when, you ha when I have uh, more Minecraft tutorial stuff for you. Uh, or watch one of my other uh, Minecraft videos on my channel. Yeah, until next time, I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Be safe, stay healthy. Bye!